All right guys, special video today. I'm in Birmingham, just outside Temple Gym, and I'm gonna be training with the notorious Dorian Yates, six times Mr. Olympia winner. So today, I think what we've got planned is a bit of back and shoulders, but I have no idea what's in store. I'm gonna wait and see what he's got planned for me. So let's go. So, we're going to start with pull downs, yeah? Yeah. We're Why? doing this as a warm up, just one set warm up, yeah? So, to warm up, but more importantly, to get the form of the exercise and the understanding of how the laps function and what it's going to feel like when we go to the exercises and get heavy, right? So, what's, um, just 10 reps, generally light. Um, so, the function of the lats, right? We're going to try and target the lats because a lot of people, when they're working the back, I think they're working the lats, but they end up using the traps and the rhomboids because they're in the wrong position. Yeah? So first of all, you've got to understand the function of the lat is to bring this upper arm humerus down and back. Yeah? So down and back, whether it's there or it's out there, it's down and back. Yeah? Or even if I bent over here, it's still down and back relative yeah. to the torso. Yeah? So yeah. that's the movement. And to get a full contraction in the lats, the spine has to be slightly arched. Mm -hmm. So when you pull down or you do a row, it doesn't matter when you're at the top, when you come down, you've got to arch your spine a little bit in that contracted position, yeah? yeah. And I want you to hold that contraction there. Yeah? We've got three parts of the movement, positive. That's actually the weakest part of the movement, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then you've got static, that's stronger than the positive. So, if, if you can't hold it here for a pause, then you didn't get it there just with muscular power. You use this, which most people do. Yeah. Yeah, momentum. Yeah, momentum, yeah, to get the weight moving, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I want to eliminate any momentum. So it's a good check. You pull down, you arch, you squeeze here. It doesn't need to be long, but just a definite pause. And then, more slowly, the negative. The yeah. reason for that is the negative part of the movement's the strongest, yeah? So it could be that you've gone to failure here, <clears throat> but there's still a lot left in the negative, yeah? So we want to tax the negative by slowing it down a little bit and consciously slowing that negative down. Yeah? Cool. So we're going to do close reverse grip to the chest, squeeze. Yeah? Okay. So now you know how that feels, that contraction when you get the elbows back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and uh, pull out the machine, which is going to isolate the lats, no biceps. And then we come back to it. Alright. All the shit you say, I gotta get away. I'm just playing. All the shit you said, don't get in my brain. Okay, we're gonna go. We did the pullover, yeah? Total lat isolation with no biceps is the only exercise that can really do it. Um, at least with this 180 degree range of motion. If you haven't got this machine, you can do dumbbell pullover across the bench, but once you get to here, there's no resistance. Yeah. So it's basically like half the movement, plus the triceps get engaged quite a bit with the pullover. Uh, so this is great. The point being, we've exhausted the lats without involving the biceps. Now we go to like the regular exercises, pull down and rows. They're going to involve the biceps, but the lats are already pre-exhausted, so the lats are going to get more out of it. Okay. I found the one and I call her my own She sit on my throne She talking, I'm feeling it up in my bones Like what do you know? Man, she do the most I gotta go, I gotta go Here, heads up, yeah? If your head's up, your back will be more arched Yeah 
if you put your head down like this, what happens is like the, the back naturally follows, you look around and around a little bit. So if you keep your chin up, that'll help. The bar should be about by your knees and bring it into the waist and back down again. It's more of a power exercise, this one, so we're not trying to squeeze what we're doing on that one and pull over. It's just basically, boom, get it in and down. But the only things that should be moving is this. Yeah. yeah? Body's like solid, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Off the back. Flex. Pull. Seven. Again. Pull. Eight. Right back. Come on. Nine. Again. Right back. Two more. Let's go. Pull. One more. Right back. Pull. Yes. Okay. Good set. Training, huh? I don't push this hard on my working sets. This is it's different. Very effective though. You know what he's Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. Well done, mate. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Your form's very good, actually, on everything. Well, I guess you, you train with good form most of the time, because when people come here and they don't, I can tell. Yeah. Because this, you know. That's what well, I did ever since I started YouTube as well. Like, I'd be on camera a hell of a lot more. Like, first three years of training, social media didn't exist. Yeah. Uh, Selfies didn't exist. I, I uh, didn't even find any pictures from my first three years of training because I had to put it. And then when it started coming about, when you started recording yourself, you actually see what you look like on camera. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, that's not very good. Yeah, work on this, work on that. And then when you're, if you're the one that's teaching people, I didn't want anyone to give me shit for bad form. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, well, I bet you're doing it right. Well, I'll give you shit if you did, mate. Yeah. Don't worry. So <laughs> everything's been good. All right, you grab these then. 50s, mate, you can do these, come on. Right, got one more to do now. I'm gonna do deadlifts. Uh, I do these at the end, because the back is now exhausted. We've worked everything, huh? So when we do deadlifts, we're not going to use so much weight, and we're going to get more out of it as far as muscular development. You know? Yeah. If we did it first, of course, you can lift more weight, but you're not really targeting anything specifically. It's like a whole body thing. You get know? more your legs. Yeah. The initial lift is legs. So we're going to do the first one from the floor. Yeah. Up. From there, we're going to go down to mid shin, and back up again. No, no, no rest between.
Yeah. Last one then, last set of the day, yeah? Finishing strong. Everything in this set. Two. Three. Four. Up. Power. Five. Up. Six. Two more. Four. Nice. One more. Powerful. Come on. Up. Oh, right. Okay, good. Good job, man. Well done. Good job, man. Good. Excellent. Excellent form. <laughs> good job, man. Right, so we finished up the session with Dorian. We did, it was pretty much back, a little bit of rear delts. And wow, that was something different. I think one of the biggest things I took from that was just how powerful and effective it can be when you up the level of intensity. I mean, I train intense, but when you have a spotter, someone like him, who's shouting and encouraging you to get the last few reps out, that is when the magic happens. Like, it was, it was just insane. I would usually do a lot more sets in my workouts. I'd probably do three to four sets, but that was literally one warm-up set, maybe two warm-up sets, and then one final all-out set. But that all-out set was, that was enough. Like, I was fully exhausted after that. So we went through, started off with a little bit of a warm-up on the lat pull-down. Then we moved on to the pull-over machine, which is a very good machine, but I think I struggled with that one a little bit because I wasn't, like, secured in place. I feel like I needed like a seat belt or something to keep me rooted. I feel like I was gonna fly out of the seat, but that was still very effective. Then we moved on to pull down plate load machine. That was probably one of the toughest ones, believe it or not, because he was just assisting me on those final few reps when I literally had nothing in the tank. He was helping me on the concentric phase and I was just taking the negative, it was very effective. Then went on to spent over rows, decent. Intense seated cable row again, very intense. Did a few rear delt flies with dumbbells, heavy, and then finished off with deadlifts. So I'm absolutely exhausted now, but very, very good session. One I'm not going to forget anytime soon. <laughs>